Hey guys, today is Wednesday, May 19th. We're in the garage today. We've been doing some boat modification. I got my monthly six cent sack today. I'm gonna to share that with y'all. First off, I wanna do a shout out to Faguma. Faguma glasses. They're polarized, sports glasses, fishing, driving, biking, out, just anything you wanna do outdoors. They fit great. Hey, I can't afford the 150 and up glasses for 30 bucks, guys. These are it, Faguma glasses. Check them out on Instagram. They sent these to me, having me try them out. I love them. Okay, six cents bag this month. Come in, all you Denver Bronco fans will enjoy this. Got the, got the orange and blue for the Bronco fans. But hey, go Cowboys. Anyway, this month's bought, this month's sack. It's the tailored sack for my area. I get to pick the water clarity, the depth, so they send me stuff based on that. First thing out of the box is the Divine Swim Bait 3.2 Gill Dust. These weren't great as trailers, A rigs, uh, back of swim baits, or you can just put them on the swim bait heads and they work great. Next up is a Divine Swim Jig. Guys, if you hadn't tried six cents of swim jigs, they're legit. They got the screw lock system to keep your trailers on there all day. The last video I made, every bass I caught was on a black and blue. This is a Cajun bluegill color. The lighting's not great. I know y'all can't see the colors real good. But great baits. Uh, the screw lock keeps the plastics, I mean, all day long. You really got to have something tear it up and have to change baits. Next up is a Cloud9 C10. It dives 8 to 12 feet. This is Sexified Chartreuse Shad. Now that these fish have moved out a little bit further, I can post spawn 8 to 12 feet. Sexified Shad. Good color. Uh, we got a Movement L7. It's a square bill. It is five eighths of an ounce, dives three to six. This is the thread fin shad color. Let me get that in there. Thread fin shad. They all come with them sticky hooks, guys. If you've used six, they got the sharpest hooks around, I think. I got a bait this month I've never got. It's the Dogma 100 in the Spanish, oh, excuse me, the Ghost Spanish Pearl. Top water action, folks. I got the catwalks, they're good. Hadn't tried the Dogma yet. Excited to try this one. And then, if you are in the six cents bait, you know you can't hardly ever get these. Guys, this month in the sacks, Axis 2.0. That's right, the Axis 2.0. Don't know, know about them, go to sixcents.com, check them out. They dive two to five feet. This is Crimson Crawl, it's the Axis 2.0. Patent pending. They're, they're, they're about to get these things patented so nobody can copy them no more. And then the last thing, oh, look here. It's a sunglass holder for these new Fugama deals. That's cool. All right, I told you I'd done some modifications. It's just a 14 foot aluminum craft bass boat. I got the seats. Mama sits up here in the front. I sit in the back. Run the trolling motor off the back. It's just easier for me. You know, I'm disabled. It's kind of easier for me work from the back instead of stand up here in the front try to run a trolling motor but here's what i've done today you know it might not be a lot to you guys to have these fancy bass boats or if you have a little boat and you're looking for some cheap ways to make storage or whatever this might help you guys out first of all i made a storage system a shelf system for my plain old boxes i made it where it holds four it's just plywood and one by twos holds four and they're they're sturdy in there, slide them in and out. Okay, second of all, I got me a Garmin fish finder the other day. I guess my wife got tired of me not showing, putting her on the fish enough. So she bought me a Garmin. It sits right there on this homemade little shelf with storage underneath. Hose that and we'll mount the fish ruler on there. Got enough room for all the cords and stuff under there. And then some days, but if we're out on the water a long time, my leg, my toes barely touch the ground, so I built me a step. 
It's about three inches off the bottom of the boat. This helped me, you know, kind of, your legs get tired after a while dangling. But that's it. Uh, hope y'all enjoy. Hope you like and subscribe. To, like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'm doing my best. I'm learning about this video stuff. Um, I try to get out at least a video of fishing a week. This weather's made it tough, but I try to. And, you know, I, do, I just, I, like, I love fishing. I love the Lord. It gives me time to spend time with God out on the water. And if I can bring a good message every day and maybe show you off some fish, what I caught them on, how I caught them, where I caught them, maybe it'll help you too. Thank you. God bless. Oh, if you want to follow me on Instagram, Old Fat Guy Fishing on Instagram. Check it out. If I get enough subscribers, I'll have a giveaway. I'll put, I'll put together a bait pack or something and do a giveaway. So if you liked the video, you've subscribed to my channel, share it. Whoever gets the most people to subscribe to my page, I don't know yet, or I'm still figuring out the details, but I'll try to put some together to help y'all out for helping me out. God bless. Have a great day. Tight lines and be looking for the next fishing video. Thank you.